poetry out. So I'm going through my stuff. I find like one, the front page and the last page, but I'm like, where's all the middle at? You know? And I'm like, man, I'm all over the place. But, <laughs> oh, all right. Man, I found this one, and this, man, I got a lot of good responses and feedback from this one. And uh, it's called Powerless Over Paint. And um, like I told you, like, a big influence on me was the hip hop culture. And one of the elements of the hip hop culture, some people call it graffiti, I like to call it aerosol art. <laughs> and I'm fascinated by it. You know what I'm saying? I'll just. I don't mind getting stopped at a train because I see all, I mean, man, that's, I mean, these cats are bad, you know, with aerosol. So, and another thing, like, we were on our way over here, we were talking about a song, and my aunt was like, but yeah, I don't understand what she's talking about, that Lord song, Royals and stuff, like, there's some stuff in there that you, and I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, what is she talking about? So I hate, you know what I'm saying, writing real obscure poetry and using words that people don't you know, know what I'm talking about. But anyway, like, if I'm, like, caps, caps are like the interchangeable aerosol caps that they'll put on the aerosol can to get the wider lines, the thinner lines, and this will change caps out. Um, uh, I think that's that's about the only thing that here is right now. Oh, free wall, that's just a wall in the city that the city designates for these people to go use, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if there's a free, there used to be one here on Wallace, but now they got a sign, no graffiti, you know what I'm saying? And, so anyway, <clears throat> but I've never written anything in graffiti, never. <laughs> so, but, I put, but I had to put myself in their shoes to, you know, try to, and like you ever see like when they hang, when you're like, man, how did he get his butt up there? To write? Yeah. <laughs> well, they wear these jeans that have extra stitching in the belt loop, you know what I'm saying? And they create like harnesses out of nylon rope and they hang themselves down, you know what I'm saying, either tie off or have somebody and they'll get busy, you know what I'm saying? So so anyway, just powerless over paint. <clears throat> I started off scribbling dirty words on bathroom stalls and as I grew tall my style evolved. Now I master pieces on inner city walls. I'm all city baby. Give you a tour if you don't believe me. Show you how I feed the needy. Suburban boys to the ghetto girls with my graffiti. I'm your friendly neighborhood urban artist who knows no boundaries. Because I've been known to get down in the surrounding counties. I had to chill for a minute because they damn near found me. They claim they got my prints off some cans due to the fact that I've refused to put my hands in latex proudly. I'm on a mission shaking cans like campaign politicians who be shaking hands along the way making fans just to bring it many nights risking my safety, man. As I twist my hat back, I let my ghetto blaster blast out the sounds of boom, 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 boom. Without delay, I dig into my backpack and snatch out a plastic sandwich sack stuffed with fat caps. I get busy. <laughs> I get dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> alone I stay high till dawn it's so late I can no longer hold back the yawns been out here for hours where has the time gone I guess the only thing my mind has been on is gripping this can of Krylon and I can't wait till daybreak because I know what everyone's eyes will be on as I begin to clean up I realize I could use a new backpack because in this one I can only get 10 cans to fit me and my team are such fiends that at times I can't stand it as I leave my residence thinking how can everything in the world be my canvas? Many mornings are spent in the position praying mantis, but I'll be the first to admit I ain't no saint. I'll also be the first to tell you that I'm powerless over paint. The first step of Graffiti Synonymous says that we were powerless over paint and our lives we can no longer manage. I begin to think about how much money I've spent and all the people's property I've damaged. But in my mind, I quickly justify by stating that I am creating beauty. Hip-hop is my way of life, my culture, and this, this is my duty. 
But the other night, my homeboy's belt broke and 20 feet to the hard concrete he fell. And because my dumb ass refuses to wear a gas mask, I've almost lost my sense of smell. <laughs> lost some brain cells as well, can't you tell? <laughs> and to make matters worse, I got the anti-graffiti network on my trail. The last thing I need is those suckers on my tail. I don't care about passing go or collecting $200. I just don't want to go back to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Man, ever since I watched... The movie Wild Style is a preteen. This scene has been my dream. Don't go chasing rainbows. Just come look at my fingertips. They never come clean. Perpetually stained with sensational yellows, brilliant blues, and glorious greens. Although I know I'm a fiend. I just don't... I just don't understand how a simple substance in a can can, can have so much power over a man. But I can't stop now. What about my fans? They need to see me write this graffiti. Just the other day, I heard a shorty say he wishes he could be me. You see, he's been coming around the way since he was knee tall. Now he thinks he's too cool for school or to even use the free walls. He said he's so fond of my acts, so how do I respond to that? Should I lie or should I take him on a ride and show him where my homeboy died? Man, I just throw him some caps. Send him on his way, give his head a pat. I mean a rub, show him some love. Paint on this shorty, don't be so rough. He's only 13, and twice he's seen cubs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.